There are a lot of things that could be considered news in this world. But there are, David, only a few stories that make us say... No way! Kind of a special edition of, those, of No Way. <laughs> <laughs> Tamar, one of those stories is Bruno, the new movie from Sasha Baron Cohen that hits theaters today. Yeah, so we've told you by now, and you know. The movie is about a gay, over-the-top, Austrian fashionista. It is expected to bring in, David, 30 million dollars this weekend, just like uh, Sasha Baron Cohen's last movie, Borat, Bruno, is funny to some, shocking to others, offensive to even some still. <laughs> Take a look at one of the clips. I swapped him. You swapped him? Wow. 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 Swapped the baby for what? For an iPod. What? <laughs> What? Tom O'Neill is the senior editor for In Touch <laughs> Weekly. He joins us with more. Tom, you say, you told me in the break, it was brilliant. It's utterly brilliant. You saw it with uh, a couple of friends who are gay, a couple of straight friends. Everybody was offended and outraged, and everybody loved it. <laughs> really? So how can uh, something offensive, outrageous, still be pleasurable to see? Well, it, because it's so brilliant. He is fearless, this comedian, just like he was in Barat, to take these stereotypes, spin them to such outrageous degrees, and then confront average people with these and we get to see their prejudice reactions and we learn a lot about ourselves well what about those gay and lesbian leaders out there who say listen it's one thing for maybe people who live in New York and LA who are around a diverse community to see this and see the satire and see uh, what the message is which is to expose homophobia but when you get into some of the smaller communities communities where people have not met people of color or maybe someone who's openly gay they see this and they're not laughing with you they're laughing at you right and those are the people who are targeted in this movie over and over again. A lot of Southerners, a lot of conservative religious people are the butts of these jokes. And you have to have a strong stomach for this movie. But on the other hand, I think it's a very important film. Now, one thing you just told me that I had not heard from anyone, you say that there are over-the-top, like, sex and... Provoc it's kind of raunchy. It's extremely, extremely raunchy for an R rating. There's a talking penis in this movie. There, the, there is an orgy in this. <laughs> There's an orgy in this movie. It's, it's so extreme. David Schuster, would you like to follow that? <laughs> I was going to say, I, I didn't hear him. What did he say? A talking what? I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> a talking <laughs> part of Just a kidding. guy. Just kidding. <laughs> no. no! <laughs> okay, Tom O'Neill. Uh, <laughs> instead of Tamar, stars, we gotta see this movie. <laughs> instead of three stars, it gets three. <laughs> no way. Thank you, Tom, because I'm okay. utterly embarrassed. Hey. Thank you. So, uh, Tamron, I think uh, I know what uh, movie we're all gonna go see this weekend. Tom O'Neill is still here with his mouth open. <laughs> like, uh, was I, I allowed to say that word on TV? I, it's technical. It's an anatomy, and it's, okay. it's taught in science. I don't know if people want you teaching their children that word. But, <laughs> Oops, hey, sorry. It's cool with me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rafe told us. us. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs>